Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create bus bump effect like what you have just seen at the beginning of the tutorial. Okay, so in Filmora 10, it is very easy to create this effect. By the way, you have two ways to create this effect. The first way is to use the animation keyframe. And the second way is to use the shake filter in the effect tab. So I'm going to show both ways uh, on how to create the bus bump effect in Filmora. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside my Filmora 10. And in order to create this effect, you need to find a piece of music that has some beat and also some, I, I think it's, uh, find something that is interesting for you. Okay, and the next thing, you want to use the picture or the video or any background or stuff like that. So for this example, I just use an element inside Filmora 10. This is a built-in element uh, inside the software you can use. Uh, so this is a retro, a retro green screen background element number two, and there are many other elements here you can use also. All right, so let's delete everything on the timeline first, so that, so that I can show you step by step on how to create this effect. Let's press Control A to delete everything. Okay, so the first thing you need to go back to your media, and this is the music that I use for this in, uh, intro. Uh, the first thing you want to use the beat detection to mark the beat inside the, the music in Filmora 10 all you need to do is to right click at the music in the media library and then you can click the, this one the beat detection option the next thing you want to change the beat options so I'm going to click at the beat option because I already I already did the beat detection in in this music so I cannot click uh, click this function anymore but I can change the beat option when you are at the beat option window make sure that you can uh, change this one highlight every two bit or one bit uh, it's all up to you because the default option will be four bit so now we can change it to two bit but it's just my favorite okay and then we can click OK and the next thing you want to drag and drop the music onto a timeline so I'm going to click this button to drag and drop this music onto a timeline Alright, so now I have a piece of music on the timeline and you can see that there are many, many beat marker here on my music file. Alright, and the next thing you want to drag and drop your video or background or image or text or stuff like that onto the timeline. So I'm going to use an element. So I'm going to click at the element folder and I'm going to use this one. So just for example, the retro green screen uh, bike to... I cannot read the name here. By the way, we just uh, need to drag and drop it onto the timeline. And let's play it first. All right, so in order to create a bus bump effect, uh, all we need to do is to straight out the timeline. Okay, so, and uh, here at this uh, position, for example, we have a beat marker here. We just need to step uh, backward one frame, so put it right here, and then uh, we are going to add one keyframe at this position. So we are going to select the, the video here, and then click this button to add keyframe. Okay, this is uh, the first keyframe, and then we need to move our playhead to the position of the beat right here and increase the scale so we can select uh, 110 120 or 130 it's all up to you so i'm going to just, uh, select 120 uh, 110 at this position now i'm going to click here at this empty area okay so that it will create uh, one keyframe and we need to move our playhead forward one frame and then reset the scale to 100 okay and now we keep doing the same for all other bit on the timeline okay so for example this position we are going to add one one keyframe and we are going to um, move our playhead to the beat position and then increase the scale to 110 okay and click away and then we can just uh, move forward one frame and reset the scale okay so this is how to create the bus bump effect uh, using keyframe Okay, so let's play it. That's nice, right? By the way, to make it a little bit more interesting, we can add some effect to this position also. So I'm going to click OK. And two effects that I use at, uh, at this position, and this position is the chromatic aberration and the shake effect. Okay, 
So we are going to select the effect tab right here and then uh, go to the recommended folder and now at the search bar here you can search for chromatic and press enter and this is the effect that we are going to add to this position all you need to do is to drag and drop it on on the top track here and then you need to uh, to shorten the duration of the effect to just about three frame here so i'm going to select it and then i'm going to cut it now all you need to do is to delete this part but i'm going to turn off the auto repo here and i can delete this one and now we need to copy this one just highlight it and press ctrl c to copy and then you can lock this track and find this uh, bit marker and then press ctrl v to paste it so this is the first one chromatic aberration effect and i'm going to add another shake effect so we are going to select the filter folder here and we have some shake effect and we can choose any shake effect right here by the way i'm going to select the up down and i also shorten the duration of the effect by splitting it and delete this one and copy this one and paste it to this position Okay, so this is how to create the bus bump effect with the animation keyframe in Filmora 10. But in some cases, if you are too lazy or you don't have time, you don't have to, to add animation keyframe to every beat on your music track. You can do like this. Okay, so let's unlock this one. Uh, so I can copy, only need to copy this effect, the chromatic aberration and the shake effect. So I press Ctrl C and then I find the beat here. So just press Ctrl V to paste the effect okay and we can do the same for all the beat on the timeline like this we can just press ctrl v and here is another position all we need to do is just press ctrl v and ctrl v uh, okay so i i need to move forward a little bit here okay because uh, it is not uh, exactly at the beat position so i want to move it one frame forward and at this position also so i'm going to press ctrl v here and also ctrl v here a few moments later okay so that's easy right so the first solution is to add animation keyframe and the sec uh, second solution is just to use the shake effect and the chromatic aberration effect and here's the final result. Alright, so that is how to create bus pump effect in Wondership Filmora. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about Filmora, just click the end screen annotation. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.